welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. Um, I went outposting slightly. I'm pretty sure I left, left last episode up here. So, another copper, a uranium one, uh, another iron, another copper, with a, no, stone, iron and copper, with uranium twos back up and running, with another iron and another copper, with another iron. So, in theory, providing my station numbering is correct, we now have seven trains feeding this monster. Um, and the idea, and these two are the perfect example, these trains just don't get emptied. Right? They back up. Which, the way the signalling works, which I need to remove some signals, is it will block off this whole station. And then this whole station, and then this whole station. So when we get to is it like 16 running trains, we'll actually have trains feeding into these steel stations. At the moment, I boo booed. I went and turned this one. I turned this steel on, and this steel on, and this steel on, and now the bots are flying for miles. So that's really screwing us up. So I need to fix that. Um, I need to fix... well, iron has finally come into the base, because if you look at our logic network, we have no green circuits, no red circuits, because we ran out of iron, because the bots are flying for f 500 miles. Um, so I need to fix that slightly. Um, uranium is being processed again, and yes, we have a sh... well, actually, we don't have heaps of raw uranium ore, but we've got a decent amount. Um, I do need to clear out this network of the rubbish. Um, I went and dumped some ammo into these. Literally just dumped it in the network and let the bots sort it out. And they are sorting it out and they are slowly making me better ammo. Because I went nuking and all the biters down here just got nuked. It was quicker, it was easier. Um, I have another power armor, which I'm going to show off in another episode. It was actually suggested by one of you guys. Um, I don't have the name in front of me right at the moment, but I'm going to play with that in another episode, because it failed me. But it be could be because my research is a little bit behind. I saw this. It says laser turret damage with plus 70%, and then I went up to the bonuses. And here is laser turret, but it doesn't mention or mention personal lasers. I don't see personal lasers here anywhere. So I don't actually know whether the personal laser... Where are we? Mm, that one. I don't actually know whether that gets upgraded or not. No, it doesn't give us any stats when it's in the suit. It does give us stats when it's outside the suit, so maybe. Um, so my thought was, let's do a research. Because we have heaps of research packs sitting here doing nothing. So I figure, look, let's do some research and burn through some packs. The other thing I need to do, which is holding up our rocket production entirely, is we're not making any of, whatever they're called, low density structures? Rocket control unit. So at the moment we're out of rocket control units, which is processing and speed modules. Which means this little build we've got going here is not fast enough. We need to increase that dramatically. Dramatically, yep. Oh, English. English words. Which means we need red circuits that are more continuous production. Green circuits are fine because of this build over here, but the reds are failing us. Um, on top of that, only because I let the game run for quite a bit, this doesn't work. These intersections are too close to one another. This doesn't work, because these intersections are obviously too close to one another. Um, so I need to do some intersection fixing. In theory, where is... Mm, where's a real set of signals on the main line? There. So, one set of signals on the main line. I should not have another intersection until after I pass another set of real signals, just so trains can pass one another without getting 
stuck. And unfortunately I've been just throwing shit down everywhere. Which has been leading to a lot of problems. So we're going to run up to the smelters, fix these um, combinators, run another train line, I don't know how, all the way up and out. So we can run a steel, dedicated steel train from here back to the main base. And I have no idea where I'm going to park that train either. Um, and at the same time, um, try and fix you know, these intersections to start with. Um, we're going to have to get rid of this dedicated drop-off smelting train, or the outpost train, which is literally just driving up here and dropping off speed modules, which these networks are then slowly panning out with more speed modules, because we're still a little bit short. A lot short, actually. Very, very short. Um, and I found out my stone train, which is all the way down here, doesn't actually work. One, because it's not turned on, because it's missing the combinators. But, yeah, it's all set manually. No, it's not even set at all. So, I need to set that. And two, it's missing all the fucking stack inserters. So, yeah, that's the jobs for this episode. Um, and you know what? Let's get a free train ride. Go! I don't care whether you're full or not. Even with rocket fuel, it's slow to accelerate. Um, oh, the other thing is, we've put in some mods. So, this is stock. Rocket silo status. How many satellites we've launched total? Oh, I'll turn that off. I put in uh, EVO, which is something that was featured in my death world. Um, I don't know why that time of day is... Um, so, I, I, I put it in on Death World, right? So, it's the Biter Evolution, the playtime, current playtime in the game. Yes, it's, it's spent a lot of time just running in the background. Um, uh, I found this one, which gives you an exact percentage of the research, which I thought would be handy. And the current time of day of the game map. Um... So yeah, I popped them in because I thought, oh, look, that'll be handy. Oh, something for you guys to have a look at. Uh, which means I can no longer cheat and go backwards, because I've had to do that for one episode. I had to actually load up an old save and redo something um, out of order, but nobody noticed, so that's fine. Uh, actually, no, that one needs to be on. That is our first one. Which unfortunately still means that the, the bots are carrying shit for miles. Oh look, we've got some more bots. Have another 200, 1700. Uh, you. Copy. Paste. Really? One. Two. No, three should be turned off. should be the one who's actually on. And then, because the bots are not busy enough, bring the steel to this station, please. Because currently, yeah, there, there's a bit of steel laying around. Am I running my fast armor? I am. Okay. So, we're going to get a train track out of here somewhere. And I think the answer is going to be come up to here and join under this one. Nope, oh, done. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's go to here. See, it still says it gives the exact same stats. Alright, where are we? So, laser turret damage bonus, 70%. Uh, damage, 300%. Oh, wrong button, over and over and over. Okay, so you have a damage... 75 laser, and you have a damage of 20 plus 60. So we'll do another one, and then we'll compare again. Because that didn't take long at all to do. Alright. Um, yeah, so if I join those two into one dedicated station, which, there is a set of signals here. Which I think 
think it's far enough away. So if I join those two in one dedicated station, that means this has got to go somewhere else. Um, the fuel train I can sort of get away with because of how tiny it is. But then again, I could just route it up and join it in up here somewhere. So that's a set of real signals. Alright, so if I bring the fuel train up there, I can then join it in the... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hopefully i got train track. I do. See, an inventory full of junk is actually helpful. Mm, delete. All of that, please. You know what? I could just join it into this station. Yeah, that'll work. Probably I've got this station around the right way. Mm, I don't think I do. I don't. I don't. Alright, let's delete all of that. We do... Crossover. Always a tree. Always a tree that has to get in the way. Uh, and I've probably had somebody every single time I do it, every single time I go back into my inventory for some item to build it, he's probably yelling at me that I have the item sitting right in front of me and I should be using the perpetual tool, which is you hover your mouse over something, you press the Q button, and voila, you now have that item in your in your hand ready to build with it. So yeah, I probably had somebody yelling at me forever, mainly because it's a new feature of 15, and I haven't really said, hey, look at this new awesome feature, you should use it, mainly because I forget to use it myself all the fucking time, because it hasn't been there for the last, I don't know how many years I've been playing this game. So, I'm not used to it. Eventually I remember to use it. Maybe. Maybe I'm just stuck with the old way of doing things. I don't know. Um, but. Delete. All the way back to there. Um, look, I, I remember to use it sometimes. That counts, right? Go on, bots. No. Those bots are going to come deal with it. Fine. Okay. Oh, and the other thing, um, I, I will... Oh, that was the other big thing. I've done 50 episodes. I have done 50 episodes pretty much back to back. Right. Um, you know, I've got a couple recorded every day. Got, a, I've aimed for two a day. I haven't quite always got two a day up for you guys. But it's been close to. Right? Um, so as of today, we're going back to one episode a day. Um, just because it's a little bit of a struggle to get two up a day. And I've pretty much ne neglected everything else. So those of you who came on for Oxygen Not Included and have been missing out, um, good news is it's coming back. Uh, I need to fix these signals because I forgot to do it whilst I was walking. Um, so Oxygen Not Included is coming back. Um, at the same time, I'm hoping to... I'm not going to promise when, but I'm hoping to shortly go and get a... Uh, start a multiplayer series of Factorio. Um, I've got a mate who I've played with for years now. Um, he was actually the one dumb enough to get me into this game. And let me try out his copy, and since then I sort of got addicted a lot. Um, I'm just trying to get all of these signals so it works a little bit better. Mm, there's a signal. Yeah, 
It's, it's far from perfect, but it should work a little bit better now. Um, so yeah, he was the dumb, one dumb enough to, to, to get me into this game, and since then I've been playing it non-stop, <laughs> which he actually complains about because I don't seem to play anything else anymore, which is entirely true. Okay, now that's done, we can move... Please don't be in my, my way, boxes. Damn you, boxes! So yeah, going to start a multiplayer series with him. Um, going to try out the lovely marathon mode, and I'm sure you've seen them all over YouTube. Going to do a death world. You know, I was sure my last attempt at biter killing, which unfortunately never made it to YouTube, which was a thousand really nasty biters. I'm not putting it back in the fucking. I am. Put it back in the same fucking chest. God, I'm an idiot. Um, but I thought, look, you know what? The, the Death Worlds actually look fun. Um, we are going to play a modded version. Uh, um, we're not just going to do vanilla. And that's mostly my choice. Um, just because, you know, vanilla is a little bit vanilla, for lack of a better term. Um, and with the marathon and expensive recipes, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, well, expensive to start with, and, um, I just realised, hang on, oh, I think I might have boo-booed. Did I sit on that properly? Technically, yes. I think so. Um, yeah, the, the the marathon and expensive recipes is... Oh, I'm building on map view again. Um, is... The recipes are really expensive, actually. Basically, to make intermediates, not pretty much not much else from what I've seen, just the intermediates become extremely expensive. Um, and for YouTube content, you know, I've watched a few of them, and I, honestly, I've got bored. I've got bored, and I, I devour F Factorio content. Um, there's, there's quite a few people I watch probably as much... I watch probably about as much YouTube per day as I record per day. Um... So, yeah, there's there's quite a few of these modes that I've seen, and honestly, they're just I don't know. There's there's just something about playing on YouTube, chopping down trees manually, you know, 
I, uh, this one, this particular game we're playing right now, I started with the tiny armor, if you remember. And it just made chopping down trees a breeze. Um, sure, I could use the robots to, to play stuff, but we all knew how so slow they were. Yeah, they didn't really help with actually building blueprints. Even though we had start, you know, we started with some blueprints. But that didn't matter because the robots were just so fucking slow. That let's be honest, we, we... Yeah, so that's correct. So that is a full signal. You gotta look for... Mm, I wanna zoom in more without going to map view. But you can see how this has got a square dot with two signals. Square dot with two signals. This won't jam anymore. Which is perfect. Um, oh, and I need to pick up this rubbish. So we need to drop down a station on the correct side of the road. Call it Player. Which gives us our two trains, and we want the trash train, please. I don't know if the trash train will fit the whole lot, to be honest. But we can dump a lot of shit out of our inventory. Um,. So where were we? Yeah, so, yeah, I, I'm thinking, just just a couple of mods. One, the tiny armor, definitely. Because it's a death world, I'm going to modify it to remove out the, um, the actual shield from the armor. Because that would be a little bit unfair. Um, even though it's a crappy shield, it, it would just be a little bit unfair on the poor biters. Um, what else was I was looking at? I'm definitely looking at this this light mod that I modified thoroughly. Um, that's the trash train. Ooh. <gasps> Go away. Boo boo placing track. Let me finish placing track and then pop up research. And I placed the two close to the train. Um, yeah, I definitely need the light mod so you guys can actually see what I'm, we're both doing. Um, on top of that, I'll have to do some sort of around us light. Because um, at the moment that's turned off completely and what we started with was way too much. Um, but yeah, some of the light mods, so you can see us when we're out actually in the dark fighting biters. Um, Um, what else? Yeah, there's, there's been a couple of mods I'm, gonna, I'm looking at. Oh, the EVO, of course. Um, oh, actually, I was with you about research finished. So you still say 75. Where's the actual laser time? 74. Yeah. So, personal laser defense gets nothing from the actual technology laser turret damage. It does say laser turret. It does say increase the damage of laser turrets. But it means the personal laser defense is shit. Um, that's infinite, and that is also infinite. I don't know what the current limit is. Can't be that high. Um, because I do want to get bots, I do want to get destroyer bots done, probably in the next episode. Um, so look, let's do one of them. Um, mainly because we've got so much military packs, and I want to burn through some of them. Come on, train. Well, look, I'm going to call it an episode whilst this poor train's unloading. Right? And then after it comes back, we will, or after all this shit's gone, um, I will destroy our track and our train station and stuff. And. Yeah. And. We will go on with... Oh! And I'll put in a steel train. Um, we'll rename that. Done. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you're still enjoying the series. Um, I hope you're happy with the mod selection I've got so far. And if you've got any other suggestions for other mods, uh, by all means, drop something in the comments. Um... You know, and I hope everybody's happy with, with the choice to, to, you know, 
swap down to one episode per day, but then hopefully get some of the old content or the old games back, along with, as I said, a multiplayer series. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and guys, look, I really appreciate you choosing to watch me over, I don't know, the 101 other idiots on YouTube. Um, but any of you, any of you, if you could, right, um, look, like, hit like on the video. It actually really, really helps me and helps the channel grow. Um, I've looked at the stats and there are lots of people watching who aren't subscribed. So rather than trying to hunt down my video every single day, week, whatever it is, please, guys, hit the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to really hunt, hit 100 subs at the moment. And then from there, I don't know, I guess the next limit's 1,000 subs. Um, at the same time, to help the channel grow, hit the share button. All right? Share it with your friends. Post it to Google+, Plus. post it to Facebook. Um, post it to, I don't know, your favourite forums. Drop it into factory forums. Drop it into the crap that we call Reddit. Um, any sharing you guys can do to, to get the word out really, really helps the channel. Uh, um, I'm quite happy doing this for be it one person or be it 100 people or be it 1,000 people. But, unfortunately, YouTube gives me better and better features the more subs I get. So, at the moment, we're hunting 100. That's the first number we have to hit. So, and when I get to 100, I get a few more perks, which means I can actually get videos out faster, believe it or not. Um, and then the next one after that is... I think it's actually view count, which is actually getting up quite nicely. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for viewing all the shitty videos I put out. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.